Welcome to Seal Point Academy. In this lecture, we will talk about the process involved in, in figuring out what really happens when we press a key. So that is the problem we have. A user is pressing a letter or a key on the keyboard and somehow it appears on the window. Let's go ahead and take this. We have our display monitor and uh, we are composing an email, right? And there's another window which is Angry Birds, right? And there are more windows here, right? The YouTube windows going on. YouTube and uh, there's a lot more windows. So we are composing email. We are pressing a letter V on the keyboard. This is the keyboard. The letter V should appear on email, not on YouTube or Angry Birds window. It shouldn't appear there. It should appear right here. So how does it happen? So let's go ahead and take the CPU first. Let's take the CPU. The CPU has lot of wires coming in, right? And coming out. Try to open it up and see. Lot of wires for it to do the computation. Let's pretend through the motherboard the keyboard is connected, right? Keyboard is connected. So we press the letter V. It goes to the motherboard. Somehow the motherboard informs the CPU through this line, right? It just triggers this line. Triggers means there will be a uh, instead of 0 there will be a 1 or vice versa whatever that is when we trigger this line we are informing the CPU that a data is available for you and that is from the keyboard the CPU when it loads when it switches on we inform the CPU that for in case something happens in this line, run a program. Those kind of programs are called interrupt handlers. These are simple C language programs or assembly language programs. Predominantly it's assembly language because it should, it should be very fast. And the program will process that information. Uh, it knows where to fetch the letter V when such, a, when such a thing happens. So this interrupt handler somehow manages to run and get the letter V. But it doesn't know what to do with it. Right? So we need to figure that out. The CPU, the interrupt handler, once it's done, the operating system comes in. The operating system, like we talked. Rem remember, the operating system is also getting executed by the CPU, right? The CPU is the one that does everything. So the operating system, which is running the CPU, has some of the letter V but it doesn't know what to do with it. So it's going to give it to a module called Windows Window Manager. The Window Manager is again a module in the operating system. It's a program. Now has the letter V with it and right 
let's go ahead and see how the window manager process that information. The window manager has a table, pretend it as a table. In this table, if it is a window 1, it's email, it is, it remembers all these applications that are running on the monitor, right? Window 2, it has the Angry Birds, Windows 3, YouTube, right? It, it re remembers all these windows, what really happened. And we know only one window can be active, right? In our case, the user is working on the email. So the window manager passes that information to the email. And the email again is a program, right? This is all a program, applications or applications that we talked before. And this program will know what to do with the letter V. In case of email, they display that for you. If it is a game, right, they know what to do with the game. For instance, we pressed up arrow or down arrow or left arrow or right arrow. The game application would know what to do with it, right. In case you are uh, uh, moving a car, playing a, a game with a car, it knows how to move the car based on these keystrokes. So that's how the games are done. So all the way from the keyboard, from the keyboard to the CPU, CPU to the operating system to the windows manager we are we are making it very simple there are actually more process involved but for the sake of explanation i made it simple to understand this process okay but this is how it works when you press a key how the programs get get the data. Okay, thank you.